Welcome back to the program, everyone. I am Jeff. Let's see if I get this right. I'm going to point to this shoulder. There I am. There's my Twitter handle. Nothing crawling across the bottom. Everything's in the detailed description. But if you want more information, you can reach out to myself on my website or over to Dylan and myself at Economic Preppers. But today I want to talk to you about a particular topic. And it's not, it is crypto, but it's not Bitcoin. So we'll talk about that in a moment. It's Ethereum. I'll talk about that in a moment. But before I get into it, if you like content, content like this please give us a like share subscribe hit the notification bell share this 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 video out to someone that helps us grow the channel but i wanted to talk about ethereum today because there's a lot of that they came out in the last couple of days and it's a, there's a lot of things that tie together here so i'm going to share my screen go over a couple articles then i'll come back and wrap it all up here and i'll try to do it under 10 minutes let's see how i do if i talk too fast i apologize so just trying to keep this nice and tidy here so first off, a lot of this is coming from Zero Hedge, and I've got a couple other articles open as well. I'll put all those links in the description. But here we go from Zero Hedge. This is just on Wednesday. Ethereum dumps and pumps after leak about SEC campaign to classify as a security. I highlighted some of this as doing as CoinDesk's report. That's really hard to say. As CoinDesk reports that's probably a better way to say it the ethereum foundation the swiss nonprofit organization at the heart of the ethereum ecosystem is under investigation by an unnamed state authority and we all know what unnamed state authorities and undocumented references all like we don't that says are always fun according to the group's website get github repository that's where they keep all their documents uh they said as of february 26th we have received a voluntary inquiry from a state authority that included a requirement for confidentiality uh, the foundation, the Ethereum Foundation did not return a request for comment. The investigation comes at a time of change for Ethereum's technology and a possible inflection point for its native asset, asset ETH, which many American investment companies are seeking to offer as an, ex, in, an exchange traded fund or an ETF. The SEC has slow walked the efforts despite recently approving a series of Bitcoin ETFs. Now, the CoinDesk report, I'll just open it briefly. Uh, here it is. It'll be in the description. The Ethereum Foundation, too many ads. The Ethereum Foundation faces inquiry from a government, not inquiry, but inquiry, whichever, um, not a grammar police. Fortune says SEC investigating ETH. So the SEC could be looking at ETH. We'll see. Uh, going through this article a little bit more. After the publication of this article, Fortune reported the SEC is seeking to classify ETH as a security, a move that would have a major implications for Ethereum and ETH ETF and crypto as a whole. Absolutely, it would. Previously, the Ethereum Foundation website contained the following disclosure, uh, basically saying that, is, that the Ethereum Foundation has never been contacted by any agency anywhere in the world in a way which requires that contact not be disclosed. Um, the foundation will publicly disclose any sort of inquiry from government agencies that falls outside the scope of regular business operations. That footer was removed in the February 26 GitHub commit. So that's basically an update. So on February 26, they removed it. Uh, Possible explanations before we wrap up the story. An attorney familiar with the situation said a Swiss regulator, that's where the Ethereum Foundation is, is located. A Swiss regulator may have served as a served a document request to the Ethereum Foundation and may be working with the U.S. SEC. I also think it's fair to say the Ethereum Foundation is not the only entity that is uh, that they are seeking information from. The attorney said, told Corndesk, saying overseas entities are receiving scrutiny. Okay, so there's the Ethereum article from Corndesk. Um, here was also another article, I think that was at the bottom of this one. Yeah. Uh, so this is, a the SEC are talking about a uh, odds of approval of an ETF by May 23rd. Uh, and the odds they say are going down, uh, all this government pressure in the face of embarrassingly clear evidence of demand and comprehension by the public about crypto ETFs comes as JP Morgan, Goldman and BlackRock all view ETH as a much more useful and important asset than Bitcoin due to its tokenization. That article is over here, but it's behind the paywall for Zero Heads. So it's just a link. Now, two last articles here. Uh, BlackRock seeds Ethereum-backed digital liquidity fund with $100 million. So let's see. There's a little bit more down here. Cointelegraph's Derek Anderson reports that according to the filing, BlackRock created the fund in 2023, but has yet to launch it. I opened that up. That will be the other link I'm going to look at in a moment. The fund will be tokenized on the Ethereum blockchain with an ERC-20 token called Buildle, which currently has one holder and a zero on-chain market cap, so it's not really launched. Uh, okay, moving over to the article from Coindesk. 
Um, or Coin Telegraph, one last time. BlackRock begins asset tokenization, will launch a digital liquidity fund. I'm going to wrap this up in a minute. I know it's a lot of verbiage here. We believe the next step going forward will be the tokenization of financial assets. And that means every stock, every bond will be on one, ge one general ledger. I'll leave it there. Those are the five articles. Let me jump out of here and wrap this up for you into a, hopefully a nice tidy package. So there's a lot of going on with Ethereum, all right? Ethereum price went down, came back up. We get it. We, there's also talk about an Ethereum ETF. That will be the next big ETF because Bitcoin, they just launched 11 ETFs about month. I think it was mid-January and now we're in mid-March and we're less than, we're about 30 days away from the halving as I speak right now on March 21st. I think the target date is April 20th. But all the news is about Bitcoin then and now we're starting to look at Ethereum. Now the FUD comes out, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Will the SEC uh, investigate Ethereum? Will they make it a security? Will that be a problem? What they're trying to do is drive the price down to Ethereum so that all these big boys can come in and snap up Ethereum and have that at the ready before the, the fund gets launched and the price will be lower so they can get it on the cheap. Moving forward, there's also the talk about tokenization of everything. That's been a hot topic for a while they're basically going to be moving away from stock markets and tokenizing companies and shares and assets and investments of all kinds and putting them on blockchains. That Buildle token on the Ethereum blockchain is a hint at where they're going and the JP Morgans and the Black Rocks want to launch a new token that'll be the token that they use for however they're going to structure this, but basically tokenizing everything, tokenizing all our assets. So now that the the floodgates are open with ETFs, and now that the big boys can move investment funds into crypto markets, and now Bitcoin is first, Ethereum will be second. They're going to try and find all the different ways to tokenize everything and, and have all this liquidity, all the all the money that has poured into um, the stock market over the last years, and it's gone up and up and up, mostly because the value of the dollar has gone down, down, down. So the, like, the prices of things have gone up, and that's the stock market has gone up because everything costs more. So it's worth more in dollars. Now they want to take those profits, roll them out of those dollars and move them onto the blockchain, tokenize everything and make even more profit. That's where we're heading. Buildable is just one example, but they're going to put a lot of FUD out there and a lot of uncertainty, a lot of doubt, a lot of concern about the Ethereum ETF, have the SEC investigation looming over there to drive the price down and make things as unattractive as possible to drive the price of Ethereum down so that people can the big boys can get their share of Ethereum on the cheap and then force the paper hands, the weak hands to sell Ethereum uh, at a discount. That seems to be what's going on. Who knows what happens between now and end of May. It's just around the corner. You're like, so we have a month, we're a month away from the Bitcoin having Then a month later comes the, the potential ruling on an Ethereum ETF. So the next two months could be very big for crypto. The big boys want to take their profits from the stock market and create these new markets and get as much control over the, the two biggest players in the crypto space, Bitcoin and Ethereum, as much as possible before the liquidity and the supply of both of them run out. So that's my view on things. If you like this kind of analysis, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? Read over these articles. Tell me what you think. I know it's a lot of complication, but... The simple answer is usually the right answer, and that's the big boys want to get their hands on cheap Ethereum. So, a lot said today. I'm going to leave it there, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.